Elitech's Intelligent Digital Manifold EMG20V and EMG40V integrates functions such as pressure and temperature measurement, pressure holding measurement, vacuum measurement, and data logging. With a 5-inch capacitive touchscreen which is capable of displaying all data at once, it provides ease and convenience for users to view the data intuitively without switching the display. It provides users with more complex data analysis through mobile phone as well as data storage, at the same time making data management simple and convenient. It is suitable for daily inspection and maintenance of refrigeration and HVAC systems provides users with more real and rich data, and greatly improves the on-site work efficiency. The manifold and accessories are packed in the tools case, including four refrigerant hoses, two temperature clamps, one vacuum transmitter, one universal adapter and Type-C cable, one bent joint, sealed pads, filters, and one user manual. The manifold and the hoses can be packed in the toolbox without dismantling after job completion. Before turning on the manifold, please connect the temperature clamps and refrigerant hoses. Turn on the manifold to enter the main menu to set the parameters. There is no pressure in the valve at this time. First, enter the units interface under the settings to set the pressure and temperature units. Then, back to the settings interface to zero the pressure sensor. Enter the pressure and temperature measurement interface to select the refrigerant. We've selected R134A as an example here. Clamp the temperature sensors to the high and low side of the system. Connect the red and blue hoses to the system. Now, the manifold shows the readings of pressure, temperature, superheating, and subcooling in real time. Tap on the dial meter to enter the graph interface for a better and clearer viewing of the pressure changes against temperature. Connect the vacuum transmitter to the manifold. Connect the vacuum pump with the manifold at the same time. Turn on the valves for high side, low side, and the vacuum side. Turn off the charging way. Enter the vacuum interface. Set the target vacuum value and working time. Turn on the vacuum pump. View the changes on the vacuum during working. After reaching the target vacuum, click the alarm setting icon and set the desired parameters. Turn off all the valves and click the start icon to enter the leak detection test. Within the testing period, if the vacuum value is lower than the target value, the test is successful. Click the vacuum dial meter to enter the vacuum curve mode. View and analyze the current vacuum, vacuum rate, and completed time. When vacuum is lower than the target value, press the Start button to start the leak test. Within the test period, if the curve does not exceed the alarm limit, no alarm is shown. Fill the system with an appropriate amount of nitrogen and close the high-pressure side valves. Connect the measured system to the high-pressure side of the instrument. Click the pressure holding icon to enter the pressure holding test. Click the alarm settings icon and set the desired parameters. Return to the main interface to view the changes. Within the test period, if the curve does not exceed the alarm limit, the pressure holding test is passed. Connect the manifold to the computer with a Type-C cable. Find the file in the computer to check the recorded data. Set the brightness backlight time, auto off time, Bluetooth, and factory reset in the system settings interface. 